What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we're gonna be taking care of that raspy exhaust on the M3. I'll give you a before sound and an after sound, and I'll go over what I got here in a minute, so stay tuned. All right guys, so I have Megan racing headers on the engine right now and looking at the headers when I bought it, the quality of Megan is really good for the price that you pay. I do have Megan coilovers on my E36 M3 and whenever I started looking at axle back exhausts for the M3, I really did like the sound that came from this axle back system right here. So I paid roughly about $520 for this exhaust and I did get me some new gaskets as well for it right here and here. So new gaskets, new axle back, and I'll give you guys a before sound and an after sound. And this should be a lot deeper and won't resonate as much in the cabin and drive me nuts because I'll tell you what, it gets so loud and resonated through the cabin. It just kind of makes me cringe. And plus it's gonna tone things down a little bit so I don't attract so much attention driving it around town. So I'm gonna go ahead, lift this up, and we're gonna take that axle back off and we'll be installing this one. So let's get started. So here's the titanium exhaust and it's pretty straightforward the way it comes out. You unbolt the flanges and then after that you unbolt the mount itself and you drop the exhaust out. Pretty straightforward. Now that's a stainless steel exhaust. It weighs a little bit more than this one. This one's titanium. It weighs hardly nothing and that's one of the benefits of having a titanium exhaust. Had this thing sound a lot better to my liking, I would keep it, but I'm going to go with that one. And since that one's a little bit heavier, it does have two mounts on that on the driver's side, and this one has a mount missing. I did go through my stockpile and I found some extra ones. Now they're a little bit different size than what is on the car. If I can get away with it, I'll use it. But I did order a new one, but it didn't come with the metal bracket. I thought it would come with the metal bracket that is right there. So Probably if I can get away with the smaller mounts on the back, I will, well the smaller mount on the back, I'll replace this one with the new one, and then I'll choose the better of the two to mount to this side, and that way it'll secure that axle back in place and uh, I'll have peace of mind about it. So it's just something I'm gonna have to see. I've been digging through, I couldn't find, you know, the other one that I had and all I found was these, so I don't know. We'll just have to figure it out and make it work, but let's go ahead and take it off. So I replaced the one on the passenger side and the one that I took off here I decided to put it on the back right here now I could not find that bracket but I used a washer and a lock nut and it's not torn on both sides it's just torn on this side so it's still gonna give me some support but as soon as possible I'm gonna order one online and when it comes in I'll replace it but for the time being it's gonna give me some support and some supports better than none because those smaller ones won't work out right because the holes sit at a different height so have to use this one for the time being. I did get new, new gaskets for the exhaust. This one is for the left side, and this one is for the right side. And this is the one that was on it. You see how, how thin it is? This is an OEM one, and it's a lot thicker. So glad I decided to do that. And this one's pretty chewed up as well. So let's go ahead and mount this thing up, and then after that, we'll do a, a sound clip of how it sounds. <laughs>
All right, so I got it installed and my only pet peeve is this tip here is a little bit damaged from shipping. Now they did have the styrofoam covers on it, so probably the shipper's mishandling caused that. And it's a little bit off on the passenger side as opposed to the driver's side. And that can be corrected with this hanger. Now in the future, I'm gonna go ahead and take this mount off and I'm going to extend the adjustable slot on that hanger and that will allow me to lift this side up a little bit more because it's a little bit lower than the driver's side and all that can be corrected with this hanger by elongating that slot and that'll allow me to tuck things up in there but for a $500 axle back ex you know exhaust system you know it's not terrible it's not perfect but you get what you pay for and in the end I'm looking for a deeper tone and not so much attention drawn to me. So once I get a new mount in, I'll take the corrective actions and uh, fix this side and tuck it up just a little bit closer so that it'll look unison. But all in all, I'm happy with it. And let's lower it down, warm up the car, and we'll hear the difference before and after. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and take her on a spin and see how she sounds on the road. Alright guys, well I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Now the exhaust is still loud, but it isn't overbearing like the other one was. I can definitely tolerate this exhaust, but 
once the uh, Megan mid pipe is you know available for me to purchase I'm gonna buy that and put that on and we'll see how that helps as well it's still got the rasp but that is just a characteristic of this engine but I'd like to just tone it down just a little bit more and hopefully once I get those mid pipes in it'll do just that but I'm all done on this episode guys I'm in the middle of filming the K20 uh, swap Civic as well but this exhaust came in and I thought I would just throw this video together real quick to share with you guys so until next time I'll see you guys on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace out.